Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Shubham Pramanik from MotionRigs.com and in today's video, we are going to do something amazing, something unique that I have never done in my channel. I'm gonna share that I'm a really big fan of Emmanuel Colombo. I really admire his work styles. And one day I literally just drag and drop one of his videos into After Effects to do the analysis frame by frame. And from that video, I've noticed so many things. So in this particular video, I'm gonna share all of the learning points that I have noticed and uh, that the professional motion designers use to make their animations more organic. So I hope this is going to be a very much informational video for all of you. So this is not going to be an easy one. This is going to be tough and only 10% of the people will stick to the end that I know. But those people will get most out of this video. So with that said, now let's begin. Alright, so before starting, I'm gonna share one thing and that is the composition setting, okay? So in most of the cases, we use 30 frames per second, but this time we are using 15 frames per second and that is very much crucial to give it a look that we want and here you can see that width and height over here, okay? I'll make a new null object and name it as control1 and uh, after that, I'm gonna place this over here okay so zoom in and try to match the point just like this let's duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and set it over here okay i'm gonna parent the square and the circle a that is our center one to the ctrl 1 and after that i'm gonna parent ctrl 1 to ctrl 2 okay so in this way we can rotate it like this and also we can rotate it from here as well okay i'll select the pan behind tool and i'll select the square and let's drag the anchor point by pressing ctrl to this point so it will snap like this all set now we can start animating the elements okay so i'll select the ctrl tool i'll set a keyframe on the rotation then I'll press Ctrl and right arrow key 4 times to move forward 4 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and set the rotation value as plus 5 degree. Then go again 4 frames forward 1, 2, 3, 4 and set the value as 0. Okay. Now this time go to Ctrl 1 and set a keyframe on the rotation over here and go 5 frames forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and set the value as minus 10 degree go 5 frames forward 1 2 3 4 5 set the value as 0 now set a keyframe on the control 2 over here as well and now this time go 6 frames forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 and set the rotation value as 45 degree and again go to 6 frames forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 and make this as 90 degree okay all right so here you can see the rotation but we want the square to be in the same position so for that what i'll do i'll press shift p and i'll set a keyframe over here i'll drag this keyframe over here and to get the value i'll select the square i'll right click go to reveal and reveal layer source in project okay here you can see and over here you can see the uh, width of it so it is 501 I'll select the position property and I'll put the value minus 501. So in this way, we can make sure that the position remains same. We don't need these two circles at this point. So I'll disable those. Okay. And now let's ramp preview it. Here you can see, looks good, right? After that, I'm going to select all of the keyframes. I'm going to press F9 to easy ease those. All right. So here you can see that the easy ease is applied but it is not working properly in this position right so there is something wrong over here don't worry we'll fix that as well and i'm gonna show you how to do that so i'll select these three keyframes go to graph editor and this time we're going to manually tweak the graph editor okay so i'll select these handles and drag this like this way select this handle as well drag it like this way. So that it looks like there is some kind of force that is rotating it okay and after that select these two keyframes drag this one over here select this one 
drag it like this way and uh, one more thing we have to do we have to make sure that the rotation is not set as zero here you can see that the rotation value is zero showing on the screen but we don't want that so what i will do i'll double click and make sure that continuous lock is checked so i'll drag that over here just like this here you can see the speed and now it is not set as zero now ramp it okay and i'm gonna use the free script easy copy i'll share the link in the description as well it is a very handy tool after that i'm gonna select these three keyframes i'm gonna copy it and just paste it over here also one more thing we have to do over here and that is we have to drag the position uh, keyframe a little bit upwards so i'll drag it like this and here you can see that it is showing a curve but we want it a straight line so what i'll do i'll select these three keyframes i'll right click and after that i'll go to keyframe interpolation and make sure that it is not set as continuous bezier it is set as linear okay and after that i'm gonna select these three keyframes i'll set copy and now select these three keyframes and paste ease now here you can see that the position and the rotation property is matching up properly all right so we have used one animation principle already and that is easy ease now we are going to use anticipation and squash and stretch with that so what i'll do i'll select the square after that i'm gonna select the square and i'll press s to open up the scale property now set a keyframe over there and go back to two frames one two and drag that keyframe over here and now this time unlink that and each time whenever the square is hitting the ground make sure that you are squeezing it so i'm gonna set the value as 95 then press k to go back to your next keyframe here you can see that it is uh, above the ground so i'll make the scale value 100 then press k again hits the ground make it 90 this time again this time it is in the air so i'll make that 100 go free frames forward again this time it hits the ground and make it 85 one thing you can notice over here we are gradually increasing the squeezing value right so first it was 895 then it was 90 then 85 that is also very important so that it shows the force is applying and squeezing it more so that it can jump up in the air right and when it go jump uh, make sure that it is 100 and when it hits it's 100 again okay and after that i'm gonna select these keyframes i'm gonna press f9 and go to your graph editor again and this time let's tweak the graph again drag the handles like this looks much better right here you can see that squash and stretch is also applied and and the initial squashing that is happening over here it is acting like a anticipation right so anticipation principle is also applied over here looks much better right all right so now go back to your main timeline and let's copy this keyframe and paste it over here and go one or two frames forward and squeeze it 80 okay and now go back go a few frames forward and make it 100 okay and i'm gonna make this one as a normal keyframe so i'll press ctrl and left click we are doing this to add some follow through effect as well that is also a part of the animation principle and over here i'm gonna use some bounce effect so this time i'm going to use an expression and don't worry i'll share that expression in the description as well so just copy the expression by pressing ctrl c and now press alt and left click and ctrl v to paste the expression okay just a touch professional animators use these techniques and make their animations smooth 
all right after that i'm gonna add an effect and that is warp effect and there i'm going to change the warp style to bulge and let's set this as vertical okay so each time whenever it squeezes we are going to add some bulge okay so let's make this one as 25 set a keyframe and press u okay and go back to frame over there make it zero okay now press k and set this as zero over here now copy these two keyframes and we need to change the axis as well so when it rotates so let's set a keyframe over there and change the axis to horizontal okay and at the end i'm going to set the band to zero okay now select all of the keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and tweak the graph like we did previously Now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking looks good right and at the end let's add some follow through so i'll select the scale property i'll right click and copy expression only and now set the bend property and press ctrl v so it will apply the expression only to this property okay now let's ramp preview it and let's see perfect so now we are going to move forward a step further and let's make this movement more organic okay so for that what i'll do i'll add an effect and that is corner pin you can drag the corners just like this set a keyframe on the upper left position now drag it like this way we are squeezing it from the upper left side and now uh, go to the position when it touches the ground again you can copy this keyframe and paste it over here now again it squeezes and when it jumps let's make some squeezing so i'll press ctrl c and ctrl v we are copying this keyframe okay over here and uh, after that when it jumps and over here when it reaches the ground okay now let's adjust the speed of this keyframe so i'll select all of them i'll press f9 i'll go to the graph editor and now let's tweak the graph so initially the square is moving very fast so the speed will be high over here so i'll drag the handles then i'll drag this handle just like this and when it jumps at that time the there is a force so the speed will be high so i'll adjust it like this way okay and after that i'm gonna set a keyframe on the upper right position and we are doing the same so at the beginning it will be zero and when it touches the ground let's squeeze this up to anticipate the next movement when it's going to jump let's make the position same as it was okay so now let's see okay now we need to change the graph editor as well so i'll select these keyframes i'll press f9 i'll go to the graph editor and let's tweak the graph okay so here we need to drag the handle like this okay and at this position drag it like this way yep looking very nice right in this way try to implement animation principles in your work and see the difference this is a simple box which has no life but the movement is looking very very organic okay now let's move forward so enable it and i'm gonna press P to open up the position property and after that I'm going to right click and separate dimensions so that we can tweak the X and Y positions manually and we have full control over there as well alright so after that I'm gonna set a keyframe on the X position and go to the next keyframe so when the square slides right our circle is going to slide on the right hand side as well and when it goes to the left our circle is going to touch the wall on the left hand side and when it's so drag this one over here and when it is in the center copy this keyframe and paste it over here okay so this will look like this okay nice and when it jumps and settles down over here 
I'm going to add manually some follow through effect over here as well. So for that what I'll do, I'll drag the X position like this. I'll go few frames forward. I'll add some bounce or follow through. So just like this. And over there I'm going to copy and paste this keyframe. So let's see. Yep, looking nice. I'm going to set the first keyframe is in and the rest of the keyframes linear and when it settles down over here I'm going to select the keyframes and pressing F9 and I'll set, go to the graph editor and after that I'll tweak the graph like this okay now let's ramp preview it and when the square rotates we need to change the y position as well so when the square jumps over here we have to set a keyframe on the y position and now uh, when it settles down we have to drag it in the center okay so here you can see yeah it's looking nice right perfect all right and after that i'm going to enable the circle 3 and now we are going to animate this one as well so i'll press p and after that separate the dimensions like previously we did and after that set a keyframe on the y position so just align it properly so that it remains on the top of the square and over here it is going to jump so i'll give it a jump Now let's ramp preview it and let's see yeah okay nice and after that now we need to tweak the graph editor as well so that it matches up with the other movements and I'll press F9 for that I'll go to the graph editor now let's adjust the handles now let's ramp preview it and let's see okay it looks better right and after that now we need to change the x positions as well so that it matches up with the movement of the square properly so i'll set a keyframe over here and i'll go a few frames forward when the square is squeezing up so the circle should move a little bit the left side We have to make sure that it is positioned in the centers like this way so for that i'll copy this keyframe i'll paste it over here and now let's see ramp preview it and let's see much better right and to add the final touch let's add the rotation as well so i'll set a keyframe on the rotation and rotate it like this okay then again go a few frames forward and rotate it like this then again a few frames forward and rotate it like this okay now when it jumps add some rotation when it reaches over here you can change the rotation and add one so let's see okay looking nice and uh, at the end we can add a little bit rotation over here as well so i hope you have learned something new today and if this video was helpful for you have learned something new for the first time so please make sure that you hit the like button and comment down below your thoughts on this and if you are practicing this one make your version and share that with me on my instagram id i'll share the names who have done the best works so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next video keep animating keep smiling